So I finally came up with a solution. So I'm gonna show you what uh, you know what I need to do my shower. Welcome back. I hope you all doing well and being safe out there. So last weekend I was gonna go do my little dry run with the van now that it's complete. But the weather was kind of cloudy and plus I didn't uh, one thing that I was missing remember I was telling you was uh, my bill doesn't have a kitchen sink and I mean a to have a shower so I finally came up with a solution so I'm gonna show you what uh, you know what I need to do my shower and also you know I, I have to have a you know when you out there my plan was to have a, a membership with uh, Planet Fitness and then of course for my uh, my situations it's a little bit uh, different from than most people because I'm retired from the military so I have access to all the military base throughout the United States so I can go on base use the gym on base and then take shower in the gym there and sleep there at night so it's safe I'm safe always safe sleeping there but there will be occasion that uh, that you know I won't be I, I can't get back to the base I, I don't have oh, I don't have access to shower through the gym then I need to have a backup plan of how to take shower if I need one normally I would uh, probably do uh, what you call is a sponge but I'm not using sponge I'm gonna use one of these wash towel so my sis the system for the taking shower that I came up with is a, a hybrid between sponge bath and shower combined together Cause that's the only way you can save water. Cause you know, being the live, let's say you live in a van or travel in a van with a small van like this, you want you can't carry too much water, so you want to conserve your water as much as possible. So I did come up with a solution, and I I I I already tested out in my uh, bathroom shower. So, and I only use two liter of uh, water to do my shower. So uh, if you don't want to hear all my yapping and, and all the other detail, I will give you, a, when I edit this video, I will give you the, the minute to go straight to the process of taking a shower instead of listening to all my yapping. So uh, I will go through the ingredient and the stuff that I need to do the shower, all right? All right, first off, this is very important. I'm using liquid soap. This is uh, supposed to be all natural. It's made from olive oil and you know, pretty much all natural. So you can see the ingredient is all natural. So according to this, if you're gonna use it on your hand, your hair and your body, you use it directly on your hair and wash cloth for bathing. So this by no means is cheap. But you know, this go a long way. So I'm not gonna carry the whole gallon. So what I did is I bought, I went to a Dollar Tree store and bought one of these. It, it came in a package of two. So a dollar for two, so this is like 50 cents. So I'm gonna fill, right now I'm, I didn't fill it all the way. So this, you're gonna need this, the soap, a wasp cloth. You know, I, you don't want it too big. You want it just small enough to uh, scrub yourself. A two liter, don't have to be Coke, can't get any kind of two liter bottle. But the important, this has to be the right standard one. And then one of these uh, little shot hair right that will attack directly to the Coke bottle. Supposedly, this is made to for for giving your pet a bath. 
So you know what? If it worked, why not? I will put a link on uh, in the description box for for this on Amazon. Like everything else, I will put a link there. Even the soap too. If I can go back on it, because I bought this to do something else too. I use this soap to do a homemade, uh, environmentally friendly uh, uh, wheat killer. I will do a video separate video for that. And you will need a tub, uh, plastic tub. You know, you will need this. So you need this to catch. I will go through uh, the process. I'm, you know, when while I do the, the I'm doing the sour, I won't be able to talk. So I, I'm gonna do the the process, record it, and then I will do the voice over. So that way I can explain everything. But let me uh, let me go through uh, the the main principle of uh, this system is, you know, uh, when you take shower, you all you doing is uh, stripping up all the dead skin from your body, right? Because with dead skin and and uh, you know with dead skin and sweat, the bacteria love that, and then that's how that's how come you have smell on your your body because the bacteria is uh, eating the dead skin and then whatever they do and they just make your smell. So all the main crevices like your your armpits, your crotch, you know, all the the, the folding skin like between your knee right here so any uh, folding area that's where all the bacteria brew in there so that way you smell bad so the whole thing is just strip off the the old dead skin so that's why you need to have your towel to scrub it up with the soap that you will use so using liquid soap it's it speed up the process you know you can use the, the if you're gonna want to use you're gonna have to need more water that's the problem with using a bar of soap so it's better off to use the liquid soap also because in my van i will be using this to uh to wash dishes also soap is soap right let me see what does this one say See, you can do this kind of stuff right here. Dishes, bathroom. So this is very uh, multi-purpose soap. They're not cheap though. I forgot what the price. But once I find a link, I will I will put it in the description box also. But in not talking, let's. Uh, normally, you know, when you're out out in the field in the middle of nowhere, there's probably nobody around. But you don't want, you know. Just for privacy, you uh, you would wear. I would wear a uh, uh, swimming trunk. Or for the lady, I I I would advise you wear a swimming uh, suit. Then it's easy to to do your your showering without you know expose yourself, or having to have a a, a store or something. To be in a minivan, you don't have a lot of room, so you gotta minimize what you need. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go do the salary. I'm not gonna be able to talk, so I will do the voice over once I'm done and when I'm do editing. Okay, so I'm gonna set it up. It's very important that uh, you have to have that uh, plastic container, so that way you can catch the uh, the soap and the water that, you, that I use to wash my hair and my faces. Okay, I'm going to reuse that to uh, scrub my body. So that way, you know, I'm, I'm not using the water from the bottle. I mean, for you lady with long hair, you probably have to need two bottles, of two liters, so four liters, so almost a gallon of water in it, instead of one, two liter. Yeah, it's very important to have that uh, washcloth. So I, I scrub down my body f first, get all the dead skin off, all the places. And after it's done, just wash up, that's all. Nothing, you know, fancy about it. 
Because, you know, uh, this is not new to me. I mean, I live in a, a Malaysian island for nine months. And this is all I do, is just doing shower like this. Not really a shower, more like a bath with a, a you know, one of those scoop, plastic scoop. Just scoop the water and dump it on your head and then the water run down your body and rinse up everything. Then after, you know, I finished shower, uh, taking a shower, then I just wash all the clothes and I, I just uh, got weight like this. I mean, I, I literally wear the short and then take bath and then rinse the clothes afterward. It's nothing new for me. Yeah, the bonus thing about using the the liquid soap is it's made from olive oil. So I, when I dry up my body, my, my skin is so smooth, <laughs> like so soft to touch. <laughs> Yeah, it take about five minutes total. I, I think I'm speed this up a little bit so that way you don't have to stand and watch me thinking about it. And then I just uh, rinse up my uh, my washcloth for the next shower. Rinse it off, squeeze it, and then uh, lay it in the sun for the next shower. That's it. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. And uh, oh, by the way, I, I would like to call a shout out for one of the, my favorite lady channel, uh, Van 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 Life. I'll give you a link down in my uh, description box. Let's see if I can put it up here. Her her uh, channel also. She's got pretty good content, and she's a sweet lady. So. I know my channel is not small compared to her, but you know what? She needs to reach that 1,000 uh, subscribers. She has enough hours, so give her some love and go over there and uh, help her out, all right? Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.